Hello, everyone. Here is one thought on being diligent. One thought on being consistent. Why should we be consistent? Why should we be diligent? Is there any reward to it? Proverbs chapter 14 and verse 4 is actually very helpful to us in this respect. Consider what it says in Proverbs 14 and verse 4. Where no oxen are, the crib is clean, but much increase is by the strength of the ox. It's referring here to the crib, which is the manger, the feed trough, if you will. And it says where there are no oxen, then that crib is clean. You can picture here, if you look into the barn, in Israel, what you would find is in ancient days, those mangers or feed troughs, they were not made out of wood that would rot too easily in that environment. It was usually a, a slab of limestone that had been hollowed out. That's where they would put the feed trough. And what he's saying here is, if there are no oxen, then hey, things are good. It really looks very clean. Just imagine stepping inside this barn and whatever kind of wood it's made out of, it still smells like the original wood, be it pine or oak. You can almost smell the beautiful scent of such a barn. But the problem is here that there are no oxen and this is out in the middle of a farm field. What's the problem? Well, the ox was the animal that would pull the plow. This proverb says that where there are no oxen, the crib is clean. And you have to stop and think before you go on to the next phrase what that really means. If you went over to the window of this barn and looked out the window, what would you find? Well, you would find basically it's just a, it's just a fallow field. There's really nothing growing out here. So you could say, well, hey, yeah, but the barn is clean and the barn really looks nice and it smells so nice. Yeah, but what's the purpose of having a barn like that, especially in this agricultural culture in which this was written, the agrarian culture? The point was that the very reason you have a barn like that, the very reason you have a, a feed trough, the very reason you set all that up is so that you can have an ox. Now, one of the ways this applies is if someone says, look, I don't want any problems. <laughs> I just... I just don't want any problems at all. I don't want to have to go through the routine chores of daily living, day in and day out, having to be consistent, having to do the same things over and over again. One of the things that our students learn very quickly when they get into 4-H or another program or they are around barnyard animals, farm animals, that you have to take care of them. They recognize, you know what, you have to get up pretty early in the morning sometime just to take care of those animals' needs. But why would you do that? Why would anybody do that? The person who says, look, I just don't want any problems at all, is basically saying, I don't want there to be any real progress either. Part of the issue here in this proverb is that we have to learn how to take problems and turn them into projects. In fact, that's really the only way to make progress is by turning your problems into projects. So if you say, I just don't want any problems, then what you're saying is, I really don't want any progress. But think about what the rest of the proverb says. It says, but, and here's the really interesting thing, much increase is by the strength of that ox. Something wonderful could happen if we're willing to put up with the ox and having to deal with the problems associated with having to feed the ox all the time, having to take care of those kind of things. And so picture, if you will, a little different way when it says, but much increase is by the strength of that ox. Ah, now what if you had this ox out in the field? 
if you had an ox out there and the farmer is just pulling, working with him, here's, here's your farmer and he's basically out there and he's behind a plow and here's the barnyard animal, here's the ox, he's out here pulling away with, with all of his might. And why are they, why are they doing this? Why is, why is he having to work with this barnyard animal? He's doing this because ultimately he's pulling some sort of a plow. He's pulling a plow along. He's breaking up the fallow ground. He is taking the opportunity to say, hey, let's, let's get this done. Let's work through this and get this fallow ground broken up here. And it's hard work and it's hard labor. But ultimately, the beauty of it is, is that by the strength of that ox, you ultimately begin to really see some tremendous progress happen out in the field. So when it says here, much increases by the strength of the ox, now think about everything that it's implied there. <laughs> now, now this is a dirty barn. Now you have the manger here, and it's overflowing, and it needs to be cleaned out on a regular basis, and the place is a mess, and animals have to be taken care of. There's far more implied in this than merely just, I think, feeding the animal. Here, what you have to do, this, this man who is the farmer here, he basically has to say, all right, I'm going to get busy and I'm going to take care of this ox because even if I have to go through and clean the barn out on a regular basis with all the stuff that's in there and sweep it out, what I'm really after here is I'm really after this, this much increase is by the strength of the ox. Now, now go look out that same window and what do you begin to see? Well, you begin to see crops. You begin to see corn or soybean or whatever it is that they're growing over there because out in these fields, much increase is by the strength of that ox, by getting in there, getting behind the plow, taking care of the ox on a regular basis, some tremendous things begin to happen. Now, as you are working with your students and they're having to do their chores, they're having to do their schoolwork, they're having to do all kinds of other things, a lot of times you'll hear them say, well, I, you know, I, I just don't want any problems. I, I, just, I just want to have a problem-free life. Well, when you throw out the problems, you also get rid of the, the much increase there. And that's the real problem is because what you're after is that increase. There really is no progress without it. So the next time you're tempted to turn away from being diligent and turn away from being consistent, then consider this one proverb. When it says that where no oxen are, yep, the crib is clean. Yeah, either there won't be any problems, but there won't be any progress either. The key, of course, is to say, I want to do the daily diligence of getting in and taking care of the crops, taking care of the barn, taking care of the animals, because what I really want is I really want that great deal of increase for the future. So when you think about what that means and you think about how this can be used, think about it. If you want the rewards, then here is that one thought on diligence, that one thought on consistency. Where no oxen are, yep, the crib is clean, but... Much increase is by the strength of the ox. Think about that the next time that you are wrestling with some project and ask yourself, if I'm willing to get in and just do the daily stuff, pick them up, put them down, be consistent, could there be a reward ahead? Yes, much increase, much increase is by the strength of that ox.